Right. For this word problem, we're going to look at an object that is put on sale for 15%, and another 40% off is taken when it's put into clearance. When a 7% sales tax is applied, the cost is now $20. So what was the original price? Well, first we need to start out by defining a variable that answers this question. So I'm going to say that x is equal to the original price. Then we're going to use what we know about marking things up and putting them on sale to the original price and set it equal to $20. So when something is put on sale at 15% and x is the original price, you could say x minus 15% of x. But another way to think of it is that Losing 15% means that you've got 85% left over, and that's much easier for us to calculate with. So I'm going to say 0.85x, and this is after the first sale. Now, when it's put into clearance, the 40% is taken off of the already lowered price. Well, the already lowered price is a concise 0.85x. So if we're losing 40%, we're keeping 60%. So I'm going to multiply this by 0.6. And this is going to give me my second sale price. Now when I go to cash, the cash register and I ring this up, they're going to add 7% sales tax. Now that's on the current price. So what I do is I multiply it by a factor that will make it larger, and that's 1.07. The 1 is going to take into account the current price, and the 7 is going to be an additional 7% on top of that. And all of this equals $20. Now, because of the commutivity of multiplication, I can multiply these three things together and get 0.5457. And at this point, I can say that the sale, which left us with 54%, means that the sale itself was about 45% when all things are taken into account. Now to solve for x, we just divide. So divided by 0.5457. and then plug it into our calculators, and we get a price of 36.65. So 36.65, 15% off, 40% off, and then add 7%, and you'll get $20.